Hello, this is Jim Hogan, Marriage Family Therapist, Psychological Therapist. We are about to watch an interview from this nice lady of Cardinal Donald Worrell. He has been accused of covering up sexual abuse in the Roman Catholic Church. Is this true? I will be showing you what this man, Cardinal, Cardinal Donald Worrell, is thinking and feeling, and we will find out from his heart, from his subconscious, what truly has been happening. As a first example, let's have Miss Ashburn ask Cardinal Worrell a question, see what is his first response. So what does that look like if the Dallas Charter exempted bishops? What is the solution moving forward? What I'm proposing as well is that we enrich that whole effort by inviting, for example, our National Review Board to be a part of it. And so we... Now let's add what is called a voice signature. Here we see and hear the words, and so we, several times. And so we... And so we... And so we... Now let's reverse two of the voice signatures. Actually, let's add a third one. Change speeds or tempos of the three that we reversed. Notice what we get. And so we, and so we, he was he was now let's take the analysis of the speech and insert it within what Miss Ashland asked of Cardinal Worrell. So what does that look like if the Dallas Charter exempted bishops? What is the solution moving forward? What I'm proposing as well is that we enrich that whole effort by inviting, for example, our National Review Board to be a part of it. And so we, and so we, and so we, he was ne, he was ne, he was ne. What am I showing you here? In Cardinal Donald Worrell, giving Miss Laura Ashburn his explanation of what will be the solution of the sexual abuse in the Roman Catholic Church. His explanations and answers to what would be the solution are actually making the situation worse. His very own subconscious projects truth from within him up into his speech, but in reverse, that which is true in what he's really saying. How is this possible? I assure you this happens. In this video, you will see many examples in Psalm 139.14, the Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. But surely this cannot be proven by only one example. You are correct. Now for example number two. See what he thinks and feels about the believers in the church, the lay women and lay men. And so we, we need to recognize only the Holy See can pass judgment on individual bishops. But we're certainly capable as a church. That would be bishops, lay women, lay men. Lay women, lay men. This reverse of speech from the heart or subconscious of Cardinal Donald Worrell will speak and project thoughts, feelings, and premonitions while he talks and tries to hide the truth that is inside him, the truth that he does not want us to hear, know, and see. What is that truth inside him that he hides? That although with his common forward speech he says one thing, in his heart he actually believes and feels the other. That laity, believers of the church, given position to investigate what has happened in priest, bishop, and cardinal sexual abuse, 
inside himself he resents that the lady will nag him and yell at bishops and priests, and that when they're correct in doing so. Examples 3 and 4 are the manner and means by which Cardinal Worrell wishes to bring down the Catholic Church. You're at the annual gathering of the Knights of Columbus, the world's largest Catholic fraternal service organization. What's your message to the Catholic faithful today who may be struggling with this sex abuse news? Well, my word to, first of all, to, to all of us, first of all, to, to all of us, it's the word that I have shared uh, with my flock. I have uh, with my flock. I have. In our example number five, Cardinal Whirl, from his subconscious, in speech reversed and slowed down, tells us how bad the deal is he's making, the solutions and the grand ideas for dealing with sexual abuse in the Catholic Church. The first and the most important point in all of this is point in all of this is